You're here, we're queer, and welcome back to my channel. Oh my god. <laughs> Look who we have here, James Mansfield. Oh my God, it's such a pleasure to be on your channel, Hexton. It's a pleasure, because I'm in her space right now. I'm in the territory. Look at the pink backdrop. It's amazing. It's She's a new Vegas resident. Yes! So, oh my gosh. welcome in. And we connected right away, immediately when I found out you're in Vegas. Like, we are becoming friends. Right. Segue into that. This hair is styled by Miss James, so head over to her channel to see this fabulous hair. Like, this is my first, I would say this is my first actual draggy drag wig. I would say that, Like, yeah. in terms of, like, the whole, like, aesthetics of drag queens having big hair, this would be my first I have ever seen one. you, like, a classic big drag hairstyle. Well, and thank you for <laughs> giving me that opportunity. Like, we were doing a Priscilla Presley slash Lana Del Rey national anthem vibes with this hair. And I am actually not feeling those. <laughs> James just told me I look like Carmen San Diego, which I'll take it. I'll take it. It's a good look. You, you know? did that to yourself. <laughs> it's the red. It's the red suit. What are we doing today? So we are going to be doing snacks. I love a snack. I love. Snacks. We're both snacks. Yeah. And we both taste good. It, well, it depends. Some days. It depends it on the days. Depends. It depends on the weather. We're going to be trying out Filipino snacks. <gasps> like I grew up in the Philippines, so I just grew up with Filipino snacks. And today I brought some snacks for you to try. They're not like crazy. I was telling James, they're not like delicacies. They're not like balot or any of that. Um, but they're like actual junk foods. So I love down? junk food. It's what I live off of. Me too. Actually, the, my trainer cannot see this. So I went earlier to Seafood City. If you are in the US, Seafood City is a Filipino um, grocery store. Oh. Yeah. So yeah, let's dive in. What do you prefer? Sweet, savory? I like everything in between. I just like food. So let's just dive into okay. this. Okay. Here we go. So I, I have chips. Yes. Wow. Just the ASMR of it. <laughs> I'm terrible at ASMR. <laughs> These ones are not really inherently Filipino. You know I know those. Okay. Hello, Panda. Oh, honey, we go back. Whenever I watch Scooby-Doo, yeah. this reminds me of Scooby Snacks. Hello, Pandas? Yes. Because of the I shape. I can see it. Yeah, they're because round. Because of the shape, yeah. And we were discussing, is, is Scooby Snacks a dog trick? Oh. 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 Hey, Pash. You're here in snack bag. So I like these cold. I like my stuff cold. I have never tried them cold. I ate them warm. Yeah. This takes me to like, we have a place back in Milwaukee called Lost World of Wonder. It's a comic book shop. Oh, okay. And they sold these by the, oh, they're so good. That's so They have this in Costco too. They do? Yeah. I have so. never been inside of a Costco. Well, that's where we're gonna, we're gonna head over there and drag one day. Mm -hmm. so let's try it. <laughs> okay. okay, cold. That's doing something. Okay, cold mm -hmm. is right. Yeah. That's correct. Yeah. This is a good one to start with because I know these ones. <laughs> right. And it's, it's I, I, like I said, it feels like Scooby Snacks. Like, when I was little and I was watching all of those... Would you, like, full-on, like, throw up in the air and try and catch it in your mouth? Let's not go crazy. But I would oh. watch, like, Cartoon Network, and it would come on. I'm like, oh, my God, I want Hello Panda now. You know? <laughs> you should try it. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Okay, I'm, I'm good. I'm happy you're familiar. Yeah. They hold up. Hello Panda. <laughs> right. They're pretty, They're classic. Okay, so piatos sounds Italian. Piatos. Yes, but it's Filipino. Piatos. Piatos. It's flavored potato crisps. Oh, crisp. Oh, they're British. <laughs> it's a chip. It's a chip. But yeah. It's a yeah, chip. Yeah, product of the Philippines. Okay, I wanted to confirm. I'm like, am I showing actual Filipino stuff? <laughs> <laughs> ah, smell it. It's cheese. That is absolutely interesting. Yeah. It kind of looks like a church way for like... It's Left gotten smaller. It's gotten smaller. They were bigger before. Oh, okay. Cheers. Cheers. What is that taste? Do you like? I'm trying to place what it reminds me of. Like, it's good. The cheesiness is not intense. Yeah, it's not like American cheese where it's just like hits you in the face with yeah. it. Yeah. Oh my god, not. <laughs> a cheese it or like a, like a cheese it'll punch you in the face with cheese flavor. 
This is actually nice. I like this. Yeah. It like, tastes like something I've eaten before, but I can't place it. From, it's nostalgia. Maybe. Maybe it's your past life. <gasps> your Filipino. Oh my god. <laughs> well, I feel like we should be discussing something, right? Yeah. <laughs> We're just literally eating. <laughs> <laughs> We're sitting here like chowing down. We, we, need, we need a anything. discussion. <laughs> Before we spill some tea, let's take a moment to thank today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. That's us. Explore new skills, develop existing interests, and get lost in creativity. It's curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes, so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. I've been taking a figure drawing class by Miles Shao, and it's helped me understand how to draw the male form a lot better. I've been really comfortable with only drawing female forms, and I really wanted to try out the male form this time. I just dream to be able to draw the male form as quickly as I draw the female form. Like for the female forms or the female body, the aesthetics, it's always kind of like muscle memory for me, and I want that for the male bodies or male presenting bodies. I feel like I'll be able to create more dynamic characters in the future and hopefully maybe merge those two aesthetics together. When you join, you can try one of Skillshare's live classes, experience real-time inspiration as you connect with popular teachers while watching and working along with other members. So whether you're a dabbler or a pro, a hobbyist or a master, you're creative. Discover what you can make with classes for every single skill level. Skillshare offers membership with meaning. Connect with the support of fellow creatives and enter a community of encouragement, communication, and inspiration. Right now, the first 1,000 of my subscribers, you guys, the house of Hex, to click the link in the description below will get one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. So click on my link down below to visit Skillshare today. You can learn a new skill, enhance your creativity, and you'll be helping support my channel. So James, how's Vegas treating you? I have to say. The city of dreams. Hopefully, would be dreams. Definitely is the city of sins. <laughs> sins, definitely. I'm loving it. Like, as soon as I moved here, everything started happening. Like, I got to do so many opportunities. Yeah. The second I moved here, it's like people figured out I existed or I was alive. You had a resurgence. And it was, it's a return. A return of James, yes. <laughs> I love it. I love how you're, you're such a vintage lover as well. And I, I geek am. out on vintage anything. You're definitely more knowledgeable when it comes to like your stuff, your fashion knowledge, movie knowledge. So I just love hearing about it. And we were just all over on James's video, we were just geeking out on dolls. On dolls, movies, Hollywood hair. stars. Yeah, it was, it's great. But I love that about your channel too, because like you definitely have a throwback style, but you don't limit that to what your content is. Like you're doing cartoons yeah. and creations of all sorts of stuff. And you combine things to make it your own like little flair, which I like. Like, especially when you did like him and stuff like that. You had oh, like yeah. blue glare silhouettes put in, like yeah, mixed yeah. in with stuff and fused into it. I like the mixture of like nostalgia with just like your own personal flair. Like a, yeah, that's, thank you. And that's what I like, because again, you add a bit of fantasy and a little fun to it, and yeah. I love that. <laughs> Welcome to the stage, Pop. <laughs> He's like, if you're not giving me chips, I'm gonna ruin Paul. this shot. <laughs> Paul, yes! Yes! Yes, good Paul. So there's a variation to that, Piatos, and this is pizza. Or, nacho, oh, nacho pizza. Nacho pizza? Yeah. This one's interesting too. That is a fusion happening right now. Mm -hmm. And she, oh, she's red. I don't know if this, I don't think it's spicy though. Let's see. This tastes like a combo. What? No. Yeah, it does. Not a combo. Yeah, it tastes like a combo. Pizza flavor combo. Oh, oh maybe I haven't had that. I've had the cheese. Oh yeah, the pizza flavor. This is definitely a little less intense than that. Like the American combo is just like, oh. Yeah. Now I'm curious. You know, life or death, you have to decide what cartoon was your absolute favorite growing up. Damn. <laughs> I 
I would have to say Sailor Moon, but that's not something I would watch all the time. You had to fight to find Sailor Moon. That was a struggle. Right. I feel like that is like the good umbrella term. It's queer, it's girly, it's fashionable. Yeah. Um, the creator of Sailor Moon referenced Mugler a lot. Um, and other yeah, like, she did. Yeah. I Flat mean, out she, mops and designs. <laughs> did you did you see that Chanel resurgence, that Chanel dress with the chains? Yes. Everyone on TikTok are doing like um, their own take on it. And Sailor Pluto actually wore that in a cover of the Sailor Moon um, manga. So, I didn't know that. <laughs> do you have any like cartoons that you like grew up in? Well, not to steal your answer, but I would say Sailor Moon. But honestly, as a kid, what was readily available to me that I watched all the time was probably Powerpuff Girls, oh, yeah. which is very similar to Sailor yeah, Moon in yeah, some regard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, magical girls and stuff like that. And that was also one where like there's lots of queer coding in that. Oh yeah. Where like him, Sedusa, Sedusa, yes. Miss Bellum. Oh, actually, most of it was pretty much queer coded. I think my favorite episode is probably Sedusa, oh, the first God. introduction of her with the professor. I'm a good lady. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> the puns on the names. Yes, Sarah Bellum. Oh my God, the puns, the drag names. <laughs> it's amazing. I'm enjoying these ones. These are nice. It's mm -hmm. those shrimp ones I'm worried about. So we should get into it. <laughs> da -na -na -na. It's the smell you told me this, though. Na, 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 na. Okay, so this is Shrimp Snacks um, original. They melt in your tongue. You're really selling this chip to me right now. A shrimp that melts in my mouth? It melts, yeah. Maybe we should have... Is should've... it like a pork rind? It looks like a pork rind. Yeah, hold on. Church wafers melt in your mouth? Is that... Oh, boy. So don't smell it. Just eat it. Well, you smelled it. No, I have okay, to okay, smell okay. it. Oh! Wow! Yeah. Okay. I got one. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Actually, it doesn't taste like... It doesn't like taste like shrimp at all. Yeah. But Why does it smell so intense if it doesn't taste like it? Do you like it? It's a good flavor. It's not bad. It reminds me of a church wafer. Those don't taste like anything. Those taste like nothing. But this tastes like something. There's something there, but it's not very intense. It's not like... It doesn't hit your palate at all. Like, it certainly doesn't taste like shrimp, although my breath now smells like shrimp. Well, we're gonna end on a good note. So, <laughs> so do you have a favorite superhero? Superhero? I would have to say it would be Wonder Woman. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, I'm- Which version? <laughs> it's so embarrassing to admit, but I love the challenge of the Super Friends when I was a kid. They used to show reruns of it. And I love the Wonder Woman and that with like the Jackie O bubble mm -hmm, flip. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That was before the live, that was before Linda Carter, right? Mm -hmm. But that's where she she kind of was modeled after was that, yes. the Super Friends. And she had like full on like bouffant 60s bubble flip hair. When she can't fly, she can't do anything. <laughs> she didn't do anything. She was just flying on her invisible jet. She was just there to hang out. She mm -hmm. barely ever really did anything. Right. So do you like superhero films? Are you into it? I actually don't. It's kind of like with outer space. I don't watch movies that have to do outer oh. space either. I will so James is against, um, she's against Star Wars. Oh, do yeah. not come to her with any Star Wars. I will leave the room. Don't request any Princess Leia. She already did it. <laughs> they, right. already heard, they already heard me air out Aunt Princess Leia yeah. the whole video. <laughs> you know, I, I never watched Star Wars either, but I loved um, Queen Amidala, her looks. Oh, okay, yeah, she was a serf. Her looks are everything. Generally, if it's not like 60s sci-fi where the costume's really fabulous, and the hair is really big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can get into that, but if it's like modern day sci-fi, it's all dirty. A Juno Birch hair. fantasy. Yes. If, give us a Juno Birch galaxy. There needs to be pastel in Star Wars and I'll watch it. I get, get I, more bouffants. I see that. I see that. Okay. So this one is Cheese Ring. So there's two covers of this. A girl and a guy. I chose She's the girl. She's fab. Right. She's mixing all sorts of genres. She's like Mega Man, Sailor Moon. <laughs> oh, okay. Now this, I think cheese-wise is more. Oh yeah, this is more. So they're rings. They're like so, they're like Sonic like rings, you know. You know what they remind me of? I mean, I'm dating myself a lot with these references, but Cheetos actually had X's and O's, like what? shaped like X's and O's, like tic tac toe. Yeah, and it reminds me of those. That's cool so though. Cool. That's so cool. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. This one's cheese. Cheese. It is really cheesy. When I was a kid, I would use this rings, and I'd be like. <gasps> Oh my god. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Were you the kid also with the Pringles with the nails? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the test with every gay child. <laughs> right. That's how you know. I don't really taste cheese, but mm -hmm. I can't stop eating them. 
It might also be her on the cover too. She's yeah. giving it she's, to me. I'm enamored, right? She's a serve. Cheese flavored snack. She don't know what she wants to be, but she's, <laughs> she is living her best life. What is a show series that you guys are like, I can't get enough? Series I have been obsessed with lately is actually on HBO Max, The Neno. Have you seen it yet? It sounds familiar. It is about Lava Neno. Like she was this fantastic trans woman. Insane. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, I haven't seen it, but I heard good things. It was so good. Okay. Like, the way it was shot and everything was so visual, and, like, they recreated everything to the T. You'll love it. It is so vibrant and colorful mm -hmm. and just beautifully shot. Oh, wow, okay. I think for mine, like, a feel-good show would be Shit's Creek. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. You can just, like, You're play it. Yeah, yeah. I can, you can just play it. I don't know. I feel like I'm David Rose and Moira. <laughs> In, in one body. And I want that. I want that extraness. Definitely how you showed up to my house today is a very Moira Rose in full stilettos and a corset I was, and horned hair. Well, yeah. Well, you know, before this beautiful hair, I was wearing my profile picture hair, my Sailor Moon fantasy. Um, I had to come correct. She was just like, I went and got boba like this. Oh, yeah. I went to get boba. <laughs> okay, driving and drag? No. 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 The corset doesn't function. Just don't have an Isadora Duncan moment. What is that? Who's that? She was this dancer, a famous dancer okay. in, like, I believe, like the 20s or 30s. But the way she died is the really legendary part. She wore, she's notorious for wearing long scarves. And her scarf, when she was driving, got caught in the wheel. Like what Edna Mode was saying. Yes, very much that. No, no capes. No scarves. No scarves, no capes. Oh my god, really? You yep. got caught where? It got caught in the back wheel and it broke her neck. How long was the scarf? It was long. She would wear very long scarves because she was a dancer and they're flowy. But that long that it went underneath? Yeah. And it choked her? Mm-hmm. Okay, well, I don't have a convertible. Yeah, but... so don't worry about this. Don't worry about this. Okay. Just don't put the top down. So now we are going to do Hansel. Okay. It comes with, I think, four flavors, but I love the mocha one. And also I like this in the fridge. I like it cold. I don't know, do you like your chocolates cold? I do actually. And yeah? So yeah, they're like biscuits. Try it if you don't mind. That is coffee flavored. Mm. Okay, so, no, don't go crazy. It's not like cappuccino. No. I mean, but it's, mo it's mocha. <laughs> it is mocha. <laughs> it's so do you not like coffee? I hate coffee. I really do, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't like it. I remember when I used to work at beauty salons, I would drink coffee just to get the energy boost, mm -hmm. but I dumped pounds and pounds of milk, sugar, all sorts of garbage in it. I'm not a coffee drinker either, but I like coffee, Flavors. artificial coffee flavor, yeah. I go with tea. Are you, do you like tea? Oh, I love tea. Okay. As you know from earlier with our teas, we were drinking <laughs> the boba tea. Mm -hmm. Girl, I'll tear that up. But those were interesting. Probably not something I'd ever do again. But you know, you enjoyed it, and that's what matters. All right, let's cleanse the palate. <sighs> Just fishing it out. I know. So drag race tea. Yes. When you guys are doing untucked, how long really is deliberation? Oh, it's forever. Okay, so you guys are really relaxing. You're relaxing, girl. Like, <laughs> you're still sitting there in full courses because, like, even though it's untucked, you want to look good because you're on TV. Yeah. So what most yeah. of us are sitting there just like, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Tell me about your childhood trauma. Oh, they do the, what is that, the, the prompts, right? Like, they'll shoot you something to talk about if, like, it's getting quiet. Because sometimes after a while, you're just like, you're so exhausted. That, but is that something that you mind. guys share beforehand? And they're just like, oh, okay, let's talk about this now? Or, no, like, really random? Oh, it's not fed to you like that. It's just honestly, like, if a conversation is going to, say, like, you know, movies or things like that, they kind of steer it back to what will make interesting TV. It's really uncomfortable and untucked. I'm not going to lie to you. See, I thought it was, like, because, you know, People were like, okay, let's just untuck no, you guys. You're sitting there for hours and then you have to go and stand for hours. It really is hours? It's hours. Oh you're God. there for so long. So would you say the, the work day is like the whole day? Oh, it, you'll be there all Like an episode I heard is like two days, technically? Two days. Like I would go there from like eight in the morning all the way. We can get out till sometimes at like 12 o'clock at night. 
Like, it's a long day. That's what we, we're doing today. <laughs> <laughs> it's what you did today. Well, honestly, I woke up, went right to brunch, came here, and did, <laughs> did oh another video. Oh, my God. So I feel a lot like, you know, the bride wore black and insidious is just putting makeup on makeup at this point. <laughs> or you just pack on on top of it. Baby, I was just like, let's just turn this into a smokey. <laughs> right. Comes with chocolate, vanilla. So there's other options later Okay. On. Yeah. I'll get a chocolate Hansel next time. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, so many chocolates. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> now we're speaking my language. Uh-huh. Okay. Choco Crunchies. That already sounds amazing. Mm -hmm. When I was young, I thought they were so fancy looking because it's in a box and they're individually wrapped. It's very like tea party. <laughs> Hello. Were you that kid that would have like your own? I I did this where I would take like crackers and things and pretend I was really really rich and just eating it. Like, girl, I do that now. What do you mean? <laughs> like, I want to have a tea set. So see, look at that. I mean, the presentation. Oh. And I feel like when I was younger, oh, the she box. Fancy. Yeah, they're a little bit more fancy before. And they're cold. Because these ones, you don't want these warm and like melting. Here we go. Oh, we should probably cheers first. Yeah. Did you already you put it in your mouth? I didn't put it in my mouth. I. <laughs> oh, we should probably cheers first. I simulated it. Boom. Here you go. It's like a Girl Scout cookie. Oh, yeah. Actually, yeah. Yeah. Which one? Any of them. <laughs> Any of them, honestly. No. Although it doesn't taste like cardboard, so it's a better Girl Scout cookie than this. <laughs> and they're not, they're, it's only three bucks. How much are Girl Scouts? They're expensive, man. Girl, they ain't playing. So James is also such a doll collector. I like the 60s Barbie. I love a bubble cut. Okay. I generally go more for dolls that have been used a lot, like the really banged up ones that mm. no one wants. I love it when it looks like they were played with really roughly. Mm -hmm. And like they have green ear, like they're missing eyes or noses and stuff like that. To give them a home, I rehome Barbies. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it when like they have the full zippers and everything. Oh, the, and, like, meta the metal zippers yeah. and all of that. It's so you're into the fantasy down. of like the actual textiles and the workmanship of the clothes. Then. Absolutely. Other than that, I'd say my other favorite genre is like the early 90s, late 80s Barbie where she's insane. Like the glamour. They're like the mix and match dresses where oh, it has like nice. these huge flared out like tool peplums mm -hmm. that you can like put on my hips, put yeah. it on my legs, yeah, yeah, put yeah. it on my arms. Or the ones that's like the day to night. Oh my God. The, the pink, um, Work suit, the day to night you can look. flip inside out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, like, what a gag. I wanted to have that recreated as like a drag outfit or just flip the skirt out. Like, look at me now. That's a good, that's good for a performance, actually. Huh. I never thought about that. Right? Another chocolate, flat tops. <gasps> so, do you like peanut butter? I do. Okay, so this is kind of that. Um, it says uh, rich chocolate for chocolate lovers. That's us. Okay, let's no chocolate. Dig in. Okay. Individually wrapped. There were more fancier before where it's like, um, like the wrapped. Oh, like a twist? Yeah. So it's a little bit more cute, but this one's like. So you temporary. get what you get now. Yeah. It kind of looks like purse candy. Oh, a purse candy? No, this will melt. Oh, okay. So. Okay. Okay. You like? I like that. Uh, it kind of reminds me of like dollar store, um, no. Dollar Store peanut butter cups. I used to eat a lot of food from the dollar store. Like, it tastes like that. I do, too. Well, it doesn't have that throw-up taste that Hershey's chocolate has. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Tame. You know Dollar Store, like the 99 store, cent store, they sell international stuff. That's probably what it tastes from the Yeah. Now. And you've been repainting on your channel as well. Yes, I would say I was a bit inspired by you because, like, I love the fact that you just have this outlet of creativity. And I love building puppets. It's just... I got a couple of those videos. I got to admit to you, girl, like, it was so long. Ugh. I don't know how you do it. Like, it was literally like four to five hours doing that one puppet video. Yeah. Well, I was telling James, I feel like each doll takes like three weeks, and that's like me taking my time with it. So the footage, I know, the footage is like five hours to condense it into 20 minutes. You know, it's crazy. I want to do like a, a repaint video with you. Obviously it's gonna be one sitting, but we're gonna take our sweet time. Cause it's possible. I feel like it's gonna be a lot of hand slapping. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we should definitely do like an iconic doll or something, you know? I got it. We have to repaint the Marilyn Monroe official dolls because they ain't great. Turn them into Jane Mansfield, <gasps> right? 
And doesn't Barbie have like a playset with a, a heart bathtub? I think she does. I'm sure she does. So we should definitely. Oh my god. Hey. Hey, book it. Jane is more draggy drag. Oh yeah. She's more campy. She's more kitschy as well. So. <laughs> she's Marilyn Monroe. Div Divine did her makeup. By the way, you're keeping what you want here, okay? Clearly not the coffee. The shrimps but... can go home with you. Okay. But it's, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> we can keep everything else. Okay, so this is Cloud Nine. Oh, you know that's where we always want to be by Jack and Jill. Jack and Jill is a famous um, snack company, I guess. They do a lot of things, but um, they also fell down a hill. They all. Oh. Do you, do you see the do you see the references? Yeah, there's a lot Hansel of Hansel like and Gretel, Jack and Jill. Yeah, I don't know. The Grimm brothers yeah, are gonna sue somebody. <laughs> so this one is chocolate. Ooh. It's um, I made sure to uh, choose the really yeah soft one. So. Oh yeah, do you have a allergies? <laughs> uh, at the end of the freaking video, do you have food allergies? No, I don't. Okay, okay. But just faith and allergy right now. <laughs> <laughs> think, oh my god, I just killed James. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, okay. Do you like it? Uh, it's like a peanut Charleston chew. I don't know what that is, but alright. You never had Charleston chew? Mm -mm. Oh my god, they're like these long chocolate covered nougats. New nougats, yes, mm -hmm. that's what it's in here. I, I was trying to like um, remember the name, but I couldn't. But yeah, do you like it though? It's good. Oh, it's great. Girl, I love me a Charleston shoe, so right, taking me right to there. Gary, you're not taking these with you. Okay, thank you. Which is your favorite Sims? My favorite Sim would have to be The Sims 2. Thank you! Because it was chaotic. They're extra, they're campy, they're they over the top. They encouraged it. Yeah. <laughs> they you encouraged have a favorite, you to be campy. Do you have a favorite NPC from Sims 2? It would have to be Mrs. Crumplebottom. I love her so much. <laughs> Crumplebottom. She, came just, she just came back for The Sims 4. <gasps> yes! I saw they brought her back in like <clears throat> 3 or something and she was younger and I didn't like it. I just loved it because like it made it fun to like try and get your friend your Sims to be romantic in public because she'd always come and like oh, yeah, slap yeah, you. Yeah. I think she, that's the same with Sims 4. I feel like there is so many like positive with Sims 4, but it's not grounded enough. There's no. I'm not in love with the characters. I'm not in love with Bella Goth being there. You know, like there's no mystery. Bella Goth is there. Sims 4. They brought yeah. her back? Yeah, it's a different timeline. Um, there is a whole lore into it, and Synthor is all, its own universe. It's interesting, and I'm clearly, I'm such a nerd. <laughs> when did you start, like, doing the wigs for YouTube? Honestly, it's just something I fell into. Like, people really responded to whenever I did wig videos, and not so much my makeup videos. I don't know why, but, you know. <laughs> She's serving face. I mean, face, with a face, face like face. this, I don't know why. The hairstyling thing just really came naturally to me, and stuff. I feel like I get better and better as I keep doing it. It's all self talk Well, she did the, it was like muscle memory. It was, like I said, one sitting. That's what people always tell me, that I do it so much that I don't even think about it anymore. Yeah. But I love it, because like, it gives me a chance to talk about the things I want to talk about, and sneak in like history and stuff The references like that. that you do, that's what I'm saying. They're crazy, they're so good, and I learned so much. You guys definitely need to check out that video, because we were, I think we talked so much, you know? This is the intermission, we needed a break. <laughs> we needed to <laughs> we eat. were hungry, yeah. Girl. We really did hit it off, I think, right? Oh yeah. We were just like, the banter is correct. Oh, mama, it is going to be grocery shopping from here at this point. <laughs> Maybe October. Maybe November. Maybe October. Oh, well, we're gonna do the Marilyn and Jane Russell. <gasps> oh my god, when they went to Paris, their traveling look. Yes. Oh, oh my, my god. god. That's, that's, that's the video. <laughs> yeah. That's the video. What was the rating overall? Overall, I have to say, I'm very pleased with a lot of these, except for the shrimp ones. They have a peculiar smell. Okay. But taste like absolutely nothing. I wish I had snacks to bring you from my culture. I grew up very American, so like everything I have is you're familiar so we can, with. We can just go to Albertsons and kill it, right? You we'll go to the gas station and kill it, honestly. Right, honestly. But um, thank you again, James. Again, Welcome. head over to James's channel. The links will be below, of course, and give her your PayPal monies, your Ben <laughs> moments. <laughs> Uh, Cash App, she's gonna have one. What are they? Let them know. Oh, it's all at James Mansfield. Everywhere. YouTube. Everywhere, okay. Honestly, I, the only thing I care about is YouTube. I love YouTube. Subscribe, subscribe to YouTube. YouTube. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Bye.